Sing her out as well. Hey, can you take that name tag from the end off? Ready to go ahead and start the Mount St. Mary's portion of the press conference. Coach, if you could begin with an opening statement, please. Yeah, just uh, first thing that comes to mind is uh, just so proud of this group and, and how they fought back at the uh, second half. You know, that, that first quarter, I think we were a little ca caught off guard about how athletic and fast and quick uh, Longwood uh, is. And we haven't seen that kind of athleticism probably for about three months since non-conference. So that, that caught us off guard. And uh, credit to our players. They continue to battle. Uh, coaches, we kept trying to make adjustments and figure this thing out. And uh, I think we did that in the second half. And, and we proved that we went out, played some really, really good basketball, slowed ourselves down on offense. Uh, these two hit big shots, timely shots, uh, to get us back into it. So first thing that comes to mind is just super proud of this group and how they just continue to fight. All right, thank you, Coach. Now we'll open the floor up for questions for the student athletes. If you can come around right here. Yeah, Kendall, um, that, that third quarter, I mean, 15 points, five for five, three from three from deep. Um, what what happened? What's, what started clicking for you that maybe wasn't working in the first half? Yeah, um, I think going into halftime and just talking to my teammates and my coaches was a really good reset for me. And I mean, I think I definitely came out nervous. I came out rushed. And I, like Twan said, we haven't seen that kind of athleticism or pressure in a long period of time. So being able to kind of recollect, regroup, talk to my teammates, talk to my coaches, take a deep breath, come out and realize like, you know, you got to do this. It's now or never. So I think I think that was just my mindset in the third quarter. Okay, right there, Coop. Uh, Michaela, do you think the way you guys fought back into that game, do you think that was emblematic of the team that you were all season? 100%. Um, obviously, we have the best first quarter, but after that, we were neck and neck with them. And it proved uh, a lot to us that, you know, we can, you know, run with the more athletic teams, the bigger teams, you know. So um, it proved a lot to, to ourselves and, you know, to other people, like not to always, you know, count Mount out, you know, because we were seven strong and, you know, we almost beat a, a very talented team. So, yeah. On the edge over there. Um, for either Kendall or Michaela, um, you guys talk about how it could be anybody's night with this team, um, especially like a game like tonight. What can you say about Jessica Tomasetti's contributions? Kendall, could you answer that first? I mean, in March, she's been, I think, our X factor. I think she has been our, our person that we turn to. She is the one that has got, got us going. She's the one that kept us going, whether it was the offensive boards, the big shots, or locking up on defense. I truly think this March, she was our X factor, starting from our quarterfinal game to this game. And I, you know, I couldn't be more proud of her. And she's only a sophomore. So you know, watch out for Jessica Tomasetti. Can you go in the back now? Yeah. Kendall, I think I was all the way across the court, so it might have been one of your teammates. But was that your family that you were hugging there at the end as time was running out? And what was that moment like? And what, what, were, you, what were you saying to them? I and mean, what yeah. did it mean to have them there? Um, definitely very emotional. Um, they have been through this journey with me since I was eight or nine years old. And through the good times and the bad times, they've just had my back like no one else. I mean, they've been to pretty much – every game regarding the circumstances and just being able to hug my teammates and my coaches and then see them at the end of the bench and them tell me how proud they are of me and that they love me so much. It's um, you know a feeling that I'll never forget. Ken Kendall, even though it didn't count, do you feel your half court shot <laughs> provided a bit of a spark there going into halftime? Um, I, I don't think uh, a spark, no. I mean, I definitely think some excitement, seeing my teammates uh, run out run out at me uh, with the smiles and the joy on their face. It kind of made me like realize like I just need to calm down, and this is a sport that I love playing, and I was too hard on myself, I think, in the first half. So seeing that go in was uh, it was funny. We actually practiced those shots uh, every shoot around, and I have not made one this year. So I'm going to count that to my list. Any other questions for student athletes? In the middle. Hey, Michael, I don't know if you've already decided this or thought about this, but are you going to use your fifth year? Yes. Come back to the mount? Yeah, I'll be using my fifth year for sure. Yeah. Get it, girl. Say that again. At the mount. <laughs> At the mount. <laughs> Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, ladies, you're excused. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and now we'll open the floor up for questions for Coach White. Uh, 
Coach White, what can you say about the third quarter that Kendall played there? Yeah, I mean, that's just Kendall for you. You know, she's a big time player. Uh, ever since she stepped foot on Mount Campus, uh, that's what she's been about. Uh, she, she's uh, put this program on her back. Uh, she's the uh, ultra competitor, and we go as she goes. And she got us going in that third quarter, and uh, you saw everyone else kind of follow suit. On the end. Antoine, coming into this game, obviously you were here last year with the team as an assistant, but now that you're in this chair and you know you got a group coming back, what is what is your takeaway as a head coach from this experience? Yeah, it's a great experience, you know, and I'm obviously we're losing some some key pieces to the puzzle and Kendall and Keeks and and Tess as well, uh, but we got a really talented young core. You know, Kendall just uh, gave a lot of high praise to Jessica Tomasetti and rightfully so. And when you look at Jess and, and Hunt coming back and Jada Lee uh, getting a lot of minutes, uh, you know, we got another sophomore who, who's going to be able to help us out in BP. Um, and the, the future's bright here. And, you know, and, and I believe with this group, if they continue to work hard, uh, we bring in some more key pieces to surround them. Uh, you know, we, we have a good chance of coming back, you know, and I know that's not easy to do, but I, I, I think very highly of this group and especially that young core. You know, you're going to be able to have your time to recruit and bring in your players coming in. But just looking at the guards that you have coming back and everything, and obviously with the goal to come back here, you know, what is it going to take from this team? You know, you talk a lot about the, you know, the preseason or the non-conference season. Is it just getting more of those games in to be more familiar with a team like this? <laughs> Grace, I don't know how many more non-conference games we can get in. I mean, this one was tough. I, I we loaded it, right? We loaded it, and for this reason, for the Longwoods and. I think for us, we got to get a little bit more athletic. You know, we got to get bigger. Uh, you, you just look at Longwood's roster. They're so long and so athletic. We got to go out and get two or three athletes. I mean, you see, we have the skill players. We can go shoot the ball with the best of them. Uh, and, and from the free throw line, from the three-point line, you know, we, we led our conference all season long from the three. So for us, I think it's super important that, you know, you got to go find some athletes that can help rebound and, and defend at a high level. Right there, and then we'll go to the middle. Coach, Coach, you knew they were quick and athletic, but was it still eye-opening to see it uh, in person uh, at the start of the game there? No, it, it didn't catch me off guard, you know, looking at them on film, and we explained that to the players uh, going into the game that, listen, you know, they're great athletes, and, and that's their style of play. They play really, really fast, and they get up and down, and, you know, they shoot the three ball a lot, and I thought we did a pretty good job defending the three tonight. Um, you know, but again, you, you can preach it all you want, but until you're in the middle of the game, uh, it's it's a different beast. We'll go here in the middle. Coach, the, the struggles from three in the first half, did you feel like that was something you guys weren't doing right or their defense or the shots just weren't falling? No, the shots weren't falling. I mean, we got some great looks, wide open looks. Um, I didn't think it was anything that they were doing defensively. Uh, we, we had a game plan to run a lot of ball screens, get them to over help from the deep corner. Uh, and this team is really unselfish. You know, we'll, we'll skip it to the deep corner. If you're open, they'll shoot it. If not, we go one more to that wing. And we did that. We were just, we were a little nervous and we rushed our shot. Uh, in the second half, we slowed ourselves down and, and those shots started to go in. Any other questions? All right, coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. A recording of this press conference will be available in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at www.ncaa.veritone.com. Transcripts are provided by ASAP and will be posted shortly. Thank you for joining us.